I slept the night here in Jeremy's driveway, which was really nice actually, because they could still pick up Wi-Fi, so. Um, I'm gonna head down to my hometown of Kempville and go for breakfast. Now, back when I started coming here some 18 years ago, this place was called Boise's. Now it's changed owners several times, now it's called Fast Eddie's, but basically, we would come here every Saturday morning, my friends and I, we would have a breakfast for five dollars, they would allow us to drink a can of pop with breakfast, and uh, yeah, for a good solid decade I did this every single Saturday. The diner here is like a really good analogy for Kempville. It's always changing, there's always stuff moving around, the look is always changing, but it's always going to be a small country spot and that hasn't changed in like 20 years. I love that little diner. to Belleville safe and sound. I'm not meeting my clients for another hour and a half, so I'm gonna sling up the hammock, chill out here in this park for an hour, and just like rest. Because driving is exhausting. You know, I spent a lot of money on this van and I made it really drivable. Like it's a very, for the size of it, it's a very easy van to drive. But just driving anything, you know? You don't want to do it too much in one day because it's exhausting. Weekend is done. I just want to talk about three new pieces of gear I got for the van. One thing that the van hasn't really had much of is like an entertainment system. I originally was going to put like a 12 volt TV into the van, and then it was just like a lot of work and finding the right TV and then finding a good price. And so, what ended up being a lot smarter than messing around with all of that was actually getting a tablet. So, this is a tablet I got used. Um, it's a 10.5 inch Samsung Tab S. Um, not like the newest, nicest tablet, but not that bad either. Um, it's got, the big thing I really like is it's got, uh, expandable SD storage, which I use to load movies onto it, and I watch movies on it. And I bought a couple of really dope clamps for it that will put the screen wherever I want in the van so I can watch TV in bed, I can watch TV down on the couch, I can watch TV while I work on my computer. It's really nice. To complement the tablet, I decided I would root it and I would put emulators onto it. So it's got all kinds of video games on here. And to play those video games, my buddy Mark hooked me up with his Xbox One S Bluetooth controller. This is one of the first ones that is uh, fully Bluetooth enabled, and it's still like really high quality, you know, like Xbox controller. So it works with the tablet. I can play all kinds of racing games, Space Invader games, just all kinds of stuff, plus emulators from like my N64 and, you know, all those old school games. It's a lot of fun. This controller also works my phone and my laptop because it's Bluetooth. Um, one of the cool things I got for my phone that goes well with this controller, Samsung Gear VR. Again, I got this one used, didn't pay too much for it. Um, I didn't think that this would be like as cool of a van gadget as it is, but I tried it once at a friend's house. He had one and it was such a crazy immersive experience with such a light, small little package. I was like, man, this would be amazing in the van because there's so many times that like I'm like parked in a Walmart or something or even even if I was like street side parked right I could have all the lights off I could have no audio coming out because I have headphones on but I could be like literally invading Mars or something like it's so crazy immersive it's so fully enveloping that you totally forget where you are sometimes I mean you don't forget it's a video game there are like its quirks the issues with this is the the focus is never 100% perfect um, that you can really tell that you're looking at a screen because the resolution isn't always that great because you're really focusing on a small part of the screen. And uh, it tends to overheat the phone and burn through the battery like crazy. So I just plug it into the wall right here if I'm sitting at the couch. Aside from that though, it's a very, very fun thing and I don't think it's just a gimmick. I really do think that VR is going to be uh, more prevalent in the future. 
anyway, I just wanted to share those three little gadgets with you because uh, a lot of people ask. And especially now that I'm alone in the van, it's nice to have ways of entertaining yourself. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.